Welcome. Scott here. Today I am going to bring you another video on Black Clover Mobile. In this video, I will be covering the ongoing limited challenge event, the Shadow Battlefield for Season 9. Before I proceed with the runs showcase, let me talk about the fight overview. We will be fighting Valkyrie Armor Noel with an Ocean Crab. Throughout the fight, the Ocean Crab can summon a Water Tornado. Valkyrie Armor Noel is the same unit that you will be using if you have gotten her from the banner. Ocean Crab has the following immunity passives, it is immune to silence, total silence, status ailments, taunt, enhanced taunt, reduced mobility, mobility depletion and reduced speed. The Water Tornado has the following immunity passives, it is immune to silence, total silence, status ailments, taunt, and enhanced taunt. It is immune to continuous damage instances like burn, electrocute, bleed, and poison. It will dismiss itself on its second turn. Valkyrie Armor Noel will gain Sea Dragon Spear stack whenever she is attacked by your party. She can gain up to 4 stacks. The higher the stacks she gets, the more damage she will do. She can apply Absolute Territory buff along with reduced damage taken and critical resistance with her Sea Dragon Cradle. She usually starts off with this at the start of the fight. All her attacks are mainly single target. The Ocean Crab is actually the more annoying foe. It will apply counter attack buff and invulnerability to the party at the start of the turn. Both buffs last for a turn. The party will also gain a 2 turn life steal buff. The Ocean Crab can also apply barrier buff on the party. It can also summon the Water Tornado. Please do take note the counters from both Ocean Crab and Water Tornado are AoE. The Water Tornado has two attacks. Vortex Slash will allow it to remove any debuffs and continuous damage instance on the Ocean Crab or Noel if you have inflicted any continuous damage instances on them. Most of the time, it will use Whirlpool attack more often, which will set your party to 30% of their own max HP removes any invulnerability buff and applies invulnerability debuff while reducing your party's stamina by 50%. The fight will go in this order. At the start of the fight, Ocean Crab will use Bubble Barrier for counter-attack and invulnerability. Valkyrie Noel will use Sea Dragon Cradle to apply Absolute Territory. On the next turn, the Ocean Crab will either attack with Bubble Strike or summon a Water Tornado. Valkyrie Noel will attack with Valkyrie Spear or uses her special if the special gauge meter is full. As the invulnerability buff laps on their next turn, take opportunity of this turn to do significant damage to them. If you have Black Asta, you can go with an easy clear of abusing anti-magic. The Water Tornado can lower your party HP to 30% which makes it easier for your Black Asta to get into the state even you don't have Witch Queen. When you have Black Asta attack with his anti-magic, make sure the boss party don't have any invulnerability buff active. For my Black Asta runs, you can refer to the fight overview video. If you don't have Black Asta, you will be facing a tougher challenge to clear this event. Here are some units that could help your cause. Doing no Black Asta runs will require you to bring a healer. So, for my runs, I have used Party Mimosa or Swimsuit Charmy. On a hindsight, I should have used Clover Academy Mimosa instead of Party Mimosa as healing is a heavy demand utility that you need when doing non-Black Asta runs. Try to save your healing until the tornado uses Whirlpool. Now here are some units that can tackle the mechanics directly. Ceremony Yami has a unique mechanic that allow him to remove counter attack from all targets. This will allow your party to receive lesser AoE damage thus giving your party a strong chance of survival. You can also build up his extra attack by using his skill 1 or special to give himself barrier buff. I didn't use him as my attack as my Yami doesn't have any investment in his skill enhancements. Swimsuit Noel has barrier buff which is useful to counter boss attacks while protecting the party. Barrier is very useful in handling the whirlpool attack from the water tornado in protecting the party. Have Charmy or Mimosa heal back up. The enemies hit pretty hard right? Let them have a testing of their medicine with Zara Reflect Trap gimmick. 
you might want to switch to a defense build gear set with four large attack piece and small attack piece if your speed set gear pieces isn't heavily transcended. The last unit that I have used Valkyrie Noel. Her skill 2 offers a powerful damage mitigation for the party. For some strange reason, the boss don't attack my Noel so I cannot gain her powerful Sea Dragon Spear stacks for more damage. Fortunately, I have used Zara in the run so I can have some off turn damage via the trap's reflection. There is another mage I didn't put in the screen due to lack of space which is Mirioliana. She can provide damage mitigation with her mana skin and if the enemies has heavy burn stacks, she can nuke them off with her special. With the unit's options covered, let me proceed to showcase the runs. You really kept me from the party for this?
I'm not weak. Not anymore!
Thank me.